All right, welcome back to the Material UI Crash Course here. In this video, we're gonna be covering the button, okay? So let's go ahead and add that button to our project here. So if you've been following along, we've already completed the auto complete there. So next, let's go ahead and create a new component inside here. We'll say button example.jsx, and we'll just say RFC to generate our functional component here. Now uh, let's go into our app.jsx here, and we'll just say here, we'll say button example so we can see our component here. Let's go ahead and save. And if we have our server started up, you should see the button example there, okay? So inside this component here, um, you go ahead over here and go to the menu. If you're not, if you can't find the buttons, go to the menu under components, then input. We're going to be right here on this button here. So if you scroll down here, we have lots of um, buttons here, like right out the gate that you can style here. So we have this one. Let's go ahead and just copy these over. So we'll copy that and we'll just paste that in there like so. Let's go ahead and save. Now we need to import the button here. Okay, so we'll do that. Import button from app material UI slash material. So if we refresh here, we should get rid of the errors. So you can see, we also have this nice little click effect that Material UI gives us by default. Um, so we can also go down here, we can change, uh, we can add some disabled here. So if we add disabled to this middle one, disabled just like that, that's gonna gray it out by default, so pretty cool. Now you see, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this here. So the, the variant is what determines um, the style of buttons. So if we were to say this one here, this middle one here, this contained here, if we said it was uh, text, then it's just gonna be, by default, it's gonna look like this middle one there. So kind of looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and by default, we'll just leave that back to contained. Um, now we can also, uh, we can make these, uh, we can change the name, we can add We can add a href to open up in a new window, or to, to be a link, so we'll say href, something like that. We'll say uh, HTTPS, well, slash slash, We'll go to github.com, something like that. We'll go ahead and save. So it's now this first one, take us to GitHub. Now, if you want to add this in a, uh, open this up in a new window, you can say, and this is just basic HTML guys, not, um, this is not uh, referencing like material UI or anything like that. So we can just say blank. Now that'll open it up in a, uh, in a new window, kind of a better experience. Um, let's see what else we can do. We did the disabled, um, let's see here. We can change the color of a button. So by default, it's just uh, this like that blue color. Uh, if you want to change it to color secondary, it's going to be kind of like a purple. So we'll do it on this middle button. We'll say color secondary. And that should be kind of like a purple color-ish. There you go. And then we also have um, success, and then also errors. So we can say success. This is going to be that's going to be a green here. So you can see green, uh, this bottom one will change this color to uh, error and that should be a red. And you can change these dynamically as well. You can kind of pass in based on um, some type of input or uh, output that you receive. So that's kind of cool there and it changes everything. So let's see what else we have here. Um, we also have, well, yeah, we can change the sizing here. So, um, this middle one here, I'll say size. By default, it, it sits at medium. So that's the, what you see right here is medium. Right now, we just changed it to small. So if you want to change this, we can also go up to large. Uh, it brings it up a little bit as well. So, oops, I'm going to refresh there. I stop my server. Let's go back. There we go. All right, let's show about that there. So yeah, large success. There we go. Um, let's see. Also, yeah, we can add some icons in there. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see. Um, Let's see, start icon, I'm gonna bring that in there. So I'm just gonna copy that there. We'll paste that in, let's see, we'll just paste that in here. Um, actually, let's just see, we'll say start icon just like that. Now we're gonna need to import this icon here. So let's find our import, this is gonna be delete icon. Yeah, delete icon. And then we also need to actually install material icon. So let's go ahead and install this right here. So we'll stop our server here. Oh, we need to say MPMI. We'll paste that in there. MPMI. There we go. And after this is done installing, we'll just start our server back up. NPM run dev. So we should now actually be see our icon in there. Kind of cool. Look at that. Nice, nice. Now, if you want to change this uh, start icon to um, end icon, for example, this will move the icon to the end of the button there. So if we go ahead and save, you see it kind of shifts everything and um, the icon's now at the end of the button. So let's see what else we have here. We have just buttons there. Uh, we can change the sizing of the buttons. A little fingerprint, that's kind of cool. Let's see if we can get that in there. So I'm gonna copy that in and let's just change it to, um, let's see if we can change that in here. We'll say, mm, 
we'll say let's say start icon oops we'll import that one first there we go start icon and that's gonna be a fingerprint fingerprint there we go let's go ahead and save let's see how that looks oops we need to there we go so let's see how that looks kind of have a little fingerprint in there kind of cool danger that looks cool so let's see what else we have you can add these over images i'm not going to do that in this tutorial but it's kind of cool kind of right out of the box functionality so yeah that's the you can actually add some loading state and we're going to get to this here uh later on in the series so that's a high level overview of how the buttons work inside of material ui so uh up next we're going to be looking at the uh checkbox example so let's go ahead and move on to the next one